this video clip of the basic math lesson number five, Sieve of Eratosthenes. The first step is to go ahead and print up this right here. It's the student number tiles number one. Now you can just write on this directly or better yet use the communicator that I talked about in other videos if you have one. Now the nice thing about this you can reuse it. Now I'm going to have you highlight some numbers. You can just use a red marker and just highlight it or you can also use like a black marker to just darken things out or just cross things out. If you're using the paper, then just use regular pencil, pens, whatever, or even a highlighter to highlight things in here. All right. So now let's get started. First off, what is the sieve of Eratosthenes? Well, it's a procedure that is used to find all the prime numbers below a certain value. In this case, I want all the prime numbers under 100. basic procedure is we're going to highlight in yellow all the prime numbers and then we want to just black out all the squares of anything we don't want and whatever's left over will be our prime numbers. The first step of our procedure is to just black out completely the one. It's not a prime, it's not composite, so just get rid of it right away like this. Our first prime number is 2. So first, let's highlight it. Now let's find all the even numbers, and they're right here. Now we don't want these multiples of 2, so let's go ahead and black them out. Our next prime number is 3. So let's go ahead and highlight that. Now we want to find all the multiples of 3, and they're right here. You may be wondering what's a fast way of finding all these multiples of 3. Well, I'll actually tell you in the basic math lesson number 5. You used your calculator. It's actually a very slick procedure finding multiples. So if you forgot, go ahead and go back to the lesson, check it out, and try it. Get all the multiples of 3, and then all the other multiples that we'll be using in this lesson. Now let's black out all these multiples of 3. Our next prime number is 5. So let's go ahead and highlight that right now. Now let's find all the multiples of 5. Well, they're all right here. And let's go ahead and black them out. So what's our next prime number? That's right, 7. So let's go ahead and highlight that. And now this one's a little bit tougher. We want to find all the leftover multiples of 7 under 100. And you might want to use your calculator, but here they are. And let's go ahead and black them out. Now what's our next prime number? Well, it's 11, seen here. But wait! We don't have to do anything with 11. Why is that? Well, there is this little something called the prime factor test. The prime factor test. To find candidates to use to find the prime factors of a number, you only need to try those that are less than or equal to the square root of a number. Now we're trying to find all the prime numbers below 100. So let's take the square root of 100. What's that going to give us? Well, 10. That's easy. So we only need to check numbers less than or equal to this 10. So we don't have to even bother with 11. So we're done, and we don't even know it. So let's go back to our grid. So all these leftover numbers are our primes. So let's go ahead and highlight them. 
And now let's just list them. And we're done. We found all our prime numbers under 100.